Yeah, at three this afternoon, there'll be a gathering here uh, in the park to remember the lives lost and remember that day. As you had indicated, three congregations were under attack in that uh, Pittsburgh synagogue shooting. Among the congregations was the New Light congregation. We have the co-president of the New Light congregation, Stephen Cohen, with us right now. Uh, this is not the first time that people have gathered here, but with the five-year mark and with the events of this year, including the trial, for you, let's start with for you personally, uh, your thoughts of the significance of this year's observation. This is a very special year. It's also often been said that the fifth year commemoration of an event brings back trauma and pain from much more so than other years. But this year is, is different because we had the trial this summer and we had a conclusion that the uh, shooter was found guilty, he was sentenced to death. In a way it brought some closure to what had been five years of trauma for the families, for the congregations and, and the community. But then you had what happened in Israel on October 7th and it brought back the fact that anti-Semitism is not just on the far right, is not just among people who delve into the, the, the weird corners and horrible corners of the internet, but exists on the other side too, in university campuses on the far left. And that we have to be concerned for the future that we can overcome through hope and education some of these misplaced feelings I know that for family of victims, at times they had to be more guarded in their public remarks prior to the trial. With the trial behind us now, with the uh, killer sentenced to death, as we remember the 11 today, what is your anticipation about the sorts of things we may hear said about the 11, particularly from family and loved ones? Uh, a matter of fact, you reach a very good point because the families all felt they could not speak. And it, it, it's horrible to want to be able to say your feelings and but to feel that to say anything would impact on the trial. Since the end of the trial, there's been quite a number of different events where family members have begun to speak out. Uh, the two New Light uh, members in particular, uh, who one, a, uh, the daughter of somebody who died, and the other, uh, the sister of someone who passed, uh, have been going around to schools talking about what it means to, what the trauma means, how to deal with it, how to overcome it. Uh, and it's really been liberating for them to be able to go out and talk about their experiences uh, without worrying about legal implications. I thank you for joining us and uh, hearing from families is something that we expect will be a part of this gathering, this uh, commemoration here in Shenley Park. Reporting live, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.